This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Stephen Jarvis and Friends podcast. Before we get into the episode, I'd just like to say, please go over and check out the deluxeeditionnetwork.com, where you will find podcast of the month being Bev's Video Kingdom. And also, if you're looking for an award show that's better than the Oscars, better than the Academy Awards, better than the Emmys, also go on to the deluxeeditionnetwork.com. And click on the Denny's. The Denny's is an award show where you, you, the people, can vote for your favorite categories and even your podcast year. Which, if you could please, you know, I know this sounds like it's begging, but could you please vote for Stephen Jarvis and Friends podcast? We're kind of, you know, floundering among the other great talents and content creators on the network. Just kidding. Vote for whoever you want because we are putting you the fans in charge and also would like to thank the deluxe edition network.com or the, the deluxe edition network for allowing us to keep bringing all this great content that we make to you our fans after having talked about the first time struggles of the young detroit lions we get into the team of the 50s so the team of the 50s goes from 1950 to 1958. At the start of the 1950s, the Lions had a roster to compete for championships, but were in still need of a franchise quarterback. To solve this, they traded fullback Camp Wilson to the New York Yanks in exchange for quarterback Bobby Lane. After finishing a disappointing 6-6 six and six record in 1950, head coach Bo McMillan resigned. He was replaced by Buddy Parker, who had previously played for the Lions in the mid-1930s, including being a part of the 1935 championship team. The following season saw the Lions improve with the 7-4-1 record. In 1952, the Lions finished with a 9-3 record, tied with the Los Angeles Rams for first in the NFL's National Conference. Thus, for the first time in 17 years, the team returned to the playoffs. In the National Conference playoff, the Lions defeated the Rams 31-21 in front of nearly 50,000 spectators at Briggs Stadium in Detroit, playing in the fog. The win sent the Lions back to the NFL championship game after the Cleveland against the Cleveland Browns, which was the first of four championship games the two teams would play against each other during the decade. The Lions defeated the Browns by a score of 17-7 to win the second title, in franchise history. The next year saw the Lions enjoy one of the greatest seasons in franchise history. They would draft future Hall of Fame linebacker Joe Schmidt in the seventh round of the 1953 NFL draft. The Lions went 10 and 2, which was good for first place in the renamed Western Conference. In addition, the team had seven Pro Bowlers, eight All Pros, and swept their division rivals Chicago and Green Bay in four consecutive weeks. The Lions faced the Browns in the 1953 NFL Championship game in which Lane found Jim Duran for a 33-yard game-winning touchdown in the final minutes to win 17-16. In 1954, the Lions would finish with a 9-2-1 record. They faced the Browns in the NFL Championship game for a third consecutive season. This time, however, the Browns destroyed the Lions 56-10, ruining their shot at a three-peat. Despite the Lions' success early in the decade, the mid-1950s looked like a falling-off point for the team. The Lions only won three games in 1955. In the following season, the team finished in second place to the Chicago Bears with a 9-3 record. During the 1957 preseason, Buddy Parker stunned the football world by announcing his resignation from the organization. George Wilson would take over as head coach. Despite the turmoil, 
the Lions finished 8 and 4 tied with the San Francisco 49ers for first in the Western Conference. As a result, the two teams faced each other in a playoff game in San Francisco. During the game, the 49ers took a 24 to 7 lead into halftime behind three touchdown passes from YA Tittle. During halftime, the 49ers who assumed they had the game locked up celebrated in their locker room because the walls in Kizar Stadium were so thin and the locker rooms were right next to each other, the Lions could hear it. George Wilson stood up and said, I was going to say something, but that's what they think of you. On the first play of the second half, 49ers running back Hugh McElhenney broke off a 71-yard run to the Detroit 9-yard line. But the Lions held the 49ers to a field goal, which was San Francisco's last points of the day. Bobby Lane had been lost to injury three weeks prior, but Lions backup quarterback Tobin Rote led the team to 24 unanswered points and a 31-27 come from behind win. The next week in the NFL championship game, Rote threw for four touchdowns and ran in another as the Lions routed the Browns 59-14, claiming their third championship in six years. To date, this is the last championship they have won. In 1958, the Lions traded Bobby Lane to the Pittsburgh Steelers in exchange for Earl Morrill and two future draft picks. According to legend, as he was leaving for Pittsburgh, Lane said that the Lions would not win another championship for 50 years. Since this time, the Lions have not won another championship, and the franchise's subsequent years of mostly futility have been labeled the curse of Bobby Lane. Without Lane, the Lions finished with a 4-7-1 and record. And as I talked about last week in episode two, this is the curse of Bobby Lane. Bobby Lane supposedly, or according to legend, when he was leaving for Pittsburgh to become the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, that the Lions would never win another championship for 50 years. And it's kind of grew with the struggles and fit, uh, and bad omens of the Detroit Lions. To me, I don't believe in it. I mean, seriously, you had... You were still winning. It's just the championships weren't coming after all this shit so is it because of bobby lane or is it because they kind of screwed up and fucked around and found out sorry for the language so that is the end of the team of the 50s and also if you enjoy this content please come back and subscribe to the youtube channel as it does help us grow and it shows that you guys love us I know that's a tall task, but it's all free. Just like if you go over to the Stephen Jarvis and Friends Podcast.com, you will find out that there is a lot of other free content as well. And very soon there will be merch on there. So you could get your very own logoed hat that says Stephen Jarvis and Friends on it. Or you can get a t shirt that will say it, or a hoodie, or a cell phone case. I'm not sure yet. You know, I got to talk that over with my, with the owner, which is my wife, Alyssa Jarvis, and see what she wants to do because, you know, I'm just an employee here. Just kidding. We, we go 50, 50 on everything. Um, but yeah, that is the episode today. Go over to the deluxe edition network.com where you will find the podcast of the month, which is Bev's video kingdom. Oh, And before I forget, come watch us live on YouTube on April 4th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time as I will be interviewing the legendary, the beautiful Sandy Johnson, who was in the 1978 slasher slash thriller movie Halloween. She was Judith Myers, Michael Myers the child Michael Myers first ever victim in that movie. We will be talking about Halloween, but we will also be talking about her life outside of Halloween fame before Halloween fame, different projects she was doing or has been doing, and we'll get to know her very well. So join us April 4th 
at 5 p.m. I probably screwed that up. I probably, when I first said it, probably said 5th. But it's April 4th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube. The link will be in the description. Or you could just go on to youtube.com slash and then do the little at thing. So you just hit shift and then or hold shift down and hit two at Stephen Jarvis and Friends podcast. And you'll be brought to the show. All right. Thank you so very much. Hope you enjoyed, and we will talk to you all later. This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com.